This story is sponsored by Honkai Impact 3rd, a 3D action RPG game by miHoYo. An exciting collab between Honkai and Genshin is coming on July 8th. Download the game and use the code in the description below. Hi everyone, I have never smoked in my life. Not even a cigarette. But I do have a very interesting weed story. Wanna hear it? 2013, Evry, France. Back when I was in engineering school, I had three roommates. The names were Joel, Elise, and hero of the story. Let's call him F. Joel was a chill dude. All he cared about was eating clean, working out, and trying to make me drink the alcohol his grandma made from Guadeloupe. Come on, man, it's good. No! Elise, aka Invisible Woman, well, we never knew where she was. She always left early in the morning, came back late at night, and some weeks we wouldn't even see her. So even though we were supposed to be four at home, most of the time we were only three. Which leads me to the last person I want to introduce. F. F had a very nice and caring personality, but he was suffering from a condition called Lyme disease. Basically, he got bitten by a tick when he was a kid, and a specific bacteria invaded his body. Ever since, he's been having weird symptoms and episodes of pain. For example, when we all met to sign the lease, all of a sudden... Huh? Yo, dude, you are right. Maybe we should call someone. Hey! If you don't want to sign with us, just tell us. Don't need to act like that. Alice, you're rude. 15 minutes later, as he felt better, he was able to explain everything to us. During an episode, he would feel like his entire body was breaking down. His head was burning, body was itchy, just a global discomfort coupled with an urge to cry without really knowing why. Those episodes could appear at any moment, and with time, they became more and more frequent and deeply affected his sleep. He just couldn't regularly go to class like Joel and I. Even when we were studying for the midterms, he could only stay with us for less than an hour before having to take a break because he couldn't concentrate for so long. The worst was during stressful situations, he always needed extra time during exams, and sometimes he could barely speak during presentations. For a year and a half, I saw him desperately try everything, as his immune system was getting worse. Every three months, he was going to a new doctor, expert in infectiology, who tried a new procedure, and really, nothing seemed to work. Remember, it was seven years ago, and even today, there's not a certified cure for Lyme disease. So 2015 started, and because most doctors told him there were not much to do, he decided to start making his own research. He spent days on the internet, reading articles, debating on forums, watching YouTube videos of people with the same problem. He was writing in his journal about every episode he was having to track his evolution and help him pinpoint what was wrong. And three weeks later, he came to us with a question. Uh... Guys, hmm? I need your permission for something. Hmm? For what? I want to grow cannabis in the house. <gasps> what? Turns out that from all the articles he studied, he saw a few people saying that cannabis oil was something working for them against Lyme. He showed us a video of a woman talking about how she would just take a few drops of this oil every day and how her condition really improved. That's why he came up with this idea of growing his own plant, not to smoke the weed, but to make oil out of it. And to do so, he needed our approval. For me, at that moment, I perceived it as a desperate attempt from someone who had no other solution. And even though growing cannabis in France is illegal, knowing everything he went through a year ago, it was kind of tough for me to say no. At the same time, I didn't want to go to prison for only wanting to help a friend. No! Please, guys! It's not my fault! It's him! Hey! Stop snitching! Stupid! <laughs> so, I tried something. 
but mm -hmm. why don't you just buy weed then? Mm -hmm. You could make oil with it, <laughs> if that's what you want. Well, weed I want is called medical mess. It's easy to buy seeds on the internet, but it's rarely sold on the streets. This weed is higher in CBD and lower in THC than usual. And I really want to control what I ingest. Also, money-wise, it's much cheaper to grow your own weed. So, do you guys agree? <laughs>